Hello everybody, this is Jay. We're at the Bandai Namco Games America booth at Anime Expo 2014, and we have some very special guests with us. Could you introduce yourself? My name is Femi. I'm the producer for Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment. So we just had a signing session. You met some of your fans. What is it like to come to the come to the states and meet some of the Sword Art Online fans? I'm very happy to be able to really talk directly to the fans. I see a lot of um, really hardcore fans out there for the Sword Art Online franchise. So tell us a little bit about the game. We have Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment coming over here from the states. It's already been out in Japan for a little while. People have played it. What's been the reception in Japan for the game? So we've actually had a lot of fans um, in Japan purchase the game for us. The volume of the game is very large, so we've had a lot of feedback from fans saying there's a lot to play. Um, I've heard fans play hundreds, two hundreds of hours, so it's very exciting. We've had a lot of positive feedback from the fans, so it's, I'm very excited to bring it to North America as well. When did you start getting into Sword Art Online? When did you first learn about it, see the anime? What, what's your history with uh, with the franchise? So I'm, I too am actually a, a pretty hardcore otaku, uh, so I used to read um, a lot of the novels um, probably about four years ago, and that's when I actually got hooked and brought the idea of bringing it to the game. The game's coming out. We have a lot of uh, U.S. and North American fans very patiently waiting for the game. What is your message to those people who are hardcore fans who have been waiting so long for this game to come over here? So the game itself is about you, the player, being Kirito, the main, the main hero. You can interact with a lot of heroines, the, the female characters in the game as well. Um, it's about going through the game, exploring your own adventure, creating your own story. There's a lot of things you can do with the other female heroine characters as well. You can hold their hands, you can sleep alongside them, you know, you can hold them up like princesses. You know, there's a lot of freedom for the game uh, for you to create your own world. So I hope every, all the fans that are waiting um, can um, be patient, um, wait till August 19th and look forward to the game. For people who have never heard of Sword Art Online, kind of to give us a couple sentences of backstory. Sword Art Online is based on a light novel by Reki Kawahara, and it's based on a VR MMO where players log in and they're stuck in the game, and it's basically a death game. Okay, and so there's been a game before, uh, Infinity Moment, and now Hollow Fragment? Yes, there has. And you've, you've played that game. You, you, you tough out the Japanese version? Yes, I've played it, Infinity Moment and Hollow Fragment. So what do you think is going to be the reception here in the United States once uh, Hollow Fragment hits? The reception is going to be huge because there were people I knew working on the English translation of An Infinity Moment for a patch, and they were excited when they heard that it was going to be added to the um, digital download. So sort of online, you can you can watch it on a couple different websites. It's getting, I feel like it's kind of gaining traction here in the states. What do you what do you think about the sort of online community in the United States specifically? Oh, the Sword Art Online community has grown huge in the States. Um, they aired it on Toonami on Cartoon Network at 2.30 a.m. and it had a lot of views. And then also Crunchyroll, it's one of the most popular shows on Crunchyroll right now. When did you first start getting into Sword Art? Uh, I got into it about a year ago and uh, I just marathoned it the whole way through. I have watched the anime and uh, yeah, I really liked it. What do you think has been the reaction so far to um, the local Hollow Fragment coming over to the States? It's really awesome. I was at the panel yesterday, and uh, I like how it's like an original story. It simulates an MMO, but it's still a single-player game, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. It's pretty awesome. Team, we have a very special guest with us today. Could you introduce yourself to our fans? Hi, my name is Ricky Kalahara. I'm the creator of Sword Art Online. You're pretty much a big deal here. We have seen a ton of Sword Art Online fans come through. What's it like to come to the States and meet all of these fans who, who live across the world and are so excited about your work? So I actually just had an autographing session uh, earlier today and I was able to really understand how excited and how um, hot and excited the fans are. Um, you know, when you're in Japan, you never really know how, you know, how Sword Art Online is accepted in North America or overseas and being, being able to come to an event like this, really being able to see the fans, it's really exciting and really happy to be here and really understand, um, you know, how the fans are reacting to my, to my product. We are going to publish um, sort of online hollow fragment here in the states and people have been very excited we hear people asking us all the time when it's going to come um, if they can get more what is your what are your thoughts on the game so sort of online itself is about a game so making a game about a game is, is was really um, weird at first but it was and I was thinking that there might be a couple difficulties here and there and there actually were a little bit but actually um, once I was able to pick up the game play it for myself it was really in-depth you know very, very immersive very exciting so I hope um, all players in North America too can look forward to playing and getting hands getting their hands on a great game so Sword Art Online is getting more and more popular people are anticipating season two they're super excited what message do you have for your fans across the world especially those here in the West the first season was all about the swords action it was combat sorting swords season two will not just be swords but it'll be gunfights um, the gun action you know I know North Americans are really used to you know action with guns 
using guns, firearms, and stuff like that. So, but I, um, when creating the anime, I, we're pretty confident. We're satisfied with the content that we that we have created. Hopefully, fans will be able to be satisfied, even with their high expectations of the gun battles um, in the game itself. We've also implemented new characters, and hopefully, players or players and fans can view season two really understand you know the emotional attachment to the characters as well and really enjoy uh, the second part of Sword Art Online. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.